Barnes and Leslie on the Morning X. This is 99X. Tomorrow, Leslie will not be here, but we have Ed Rowland filling in and a lot to get to. We're going to reveal Rushmore, Fram. And you have to let me know what his favorite uh, Collective Soul songs are, or maybe his favorite. Fram, you could listen to the podcast. And, and I might be in the air. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying when it's over, we'll put it on the podcast. Okay, I'll listen to the podcast, yeah. We're going to put the four songs out voted by you, the 99Xers, what the four best Collective Soul songs are, as voted by you. And he's bringing his new album that's about to be released, and we're going to world premiere four or five new songs. I heard... That is going to be insane. So he's just going to like randomly pick songs off the new album. Yep. He's got, and I think there are like, I think he said 15 to 19 songs on the, on the record. So we'll probably play four or five of them. They've been busy. That will be tomorrow morning while Fram's away for a day. Uh, By (laughs) by the way, you know who's busy? The Steve Show's busy. All these tickets he's got, first on the College of Musical Knowledge on the Steve Show at 145. Tickets to see Silver Sun Pickups at the Buckhead Theater, April 28th. And then... He's got tickets for the Postal Service and Death Cab for Cutie at Ameris Bank Amphitheater to give away about 2 o'clock. Very busy on the Steve Show, 10 to 3 on 99X. I don't know how you do it, Fram. Now, you're you leaving, mean? you're going to Austin, you've got your big award show, and this this you know week leading up to and the week of is always just crazy town for you. It is crazy town. I take it, you know what? I take it day by day, Barnes. I don't know how you keep it together. And I thought it'd be cool for people to hear what, because I get to hear a lot of behind the scenes. Last year we did our show from there. and Oh, that's right. (laughs) You were like psycho circus. I mean, it was impossible. But then, and I went to the show, which was very cool to go to. Are you doing it in the same venue? Yeah, Moody Center, the arena. Which if you ever get a chance to go see a concert there, it's this brand new arena on the University of Texas campus. It's unreal. I want to play, a, this is a 38 second clip, and this was from last year's show. Ooh. And it's when you got Alanis Morissette with all these other women to do You Ought to Know. Who all, who all did it? Do you remember all of the people? Yeah, it was like Madeline Edwards, Ingrid Andrus, Lainey Wilson. Uh, I'm spacing on the last person, but I'll think of it in a minute. Well, just the fact that you were able to coordinate that with Alanis Morissette for these women to come up and sing with her. Well, you know what was cool about it? Alanis actually really wanted to do it. That had to take months. Oh, and Morgan Wade. Morgan Wade. Alanis wanted to do it because it was about girl power. She felt like, you know, we're supporting women. And when she was coming up in the industry, a lot of people didn't support female artists. But that, what, took months to put together took a long time yes here's a little clip of it unfolding in that moody center last year That's got to be traumatizing for them to sing facing Alanis like that, singing Everyone her was song. really nervous. You know, I was getting my 99X on because not only was Alanis there, but remember, you were there, Gwen Stefani. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> so you're, are you an executive producer of this show? Yes, I'm one of the two EPs on the show. Longtime EPs, Margaret Como and John Hamlin, EPs forever. So what happens? What what? Because I wish I could tell some of the stories that I would be privy to hearing after you would get out of a day and you're talking about this happened and that, and I know we can't talk about them, but can you vaguely talk about some of the demands and not naming? It's not, but you know, it's like the country space is so nice. It's not like the pop space where, you know, there are a lot of demands, especially we're in the same building in the same house as MTV. And, you know, for us, it's like artists share dressing rooms together. They don't care. That doesn't yeah. happen in the pop world. Right. You do not share a dressing room with someone. Well, so some of the people, like, give me an instance of something that happened last year. At, N- at our show? Yeah, not naming there an was, artist. N- actually, there was no drama at our show. Fram. I'm saying it. Ha- the drama happens on other shows. Okay. I will say, yeah, there was a couple of, there was. I, a, I look, know you're, yeah, there was you're a avoiding it. There Can't you just say that somebody was mad about something? Somebody. Like, don't you get people, like, threatening 
their people threatening, hey, we're not going to do this unless you do this. Stuff like that. Yeah, that that didn't happen on this show, though. It happened on another show. Okay. I'm going to have to write a book, then, if you're not going to give up some of the Listen, there's so many people that work on this show. You've got all the physical production people and the creative people, but... All day, you're getting like text messages and emails, and somebody needs this, and somebody's confused about their tickets, and somebody doesn't know about the red carpet, and it's in, it, the week of is intense. So you're fielding all of that. So like a typical With the whole day, team, yeah, the whole team. So you guys are just going from thing to thing, and your phone's yeah. blowing up, and you've got to stop and answer people for like, how do I get my tickets? Where do I have to be? What time am I on? What's my, you know, all of that. Well, there are schedules, but I will say this: the most intense are the rehearsal days because you were there morning, noon, and night for rehearsals and making sure everybody's happy with what they need and they get to run through it three or four times and then the day of it's like morning rehearsal dress rehearsal red carpet show so day of it's kind of like a big day out you're there from 8 a.m until you know midnight and then do you do you have any cool moments you can remember with any of these stars that have happened because i mean you have some a-listers that go and present or that are there well, you know, last year, uh, Travis Kelsey was there, and I think I told you this. All of the women backstage were freaking out about him. Like, oh my gosh, Travis Kelsey. And it, yeah, I'm not a sports person, so at that time, I didn't even know who he was. I mean, I knew he was presenting, and I knew why, because he was on with Kelsey Ballerini on Saturday Night Live, and it was like a Kelsey Kelsey thing. He was introducing her. But knowing now what I know about Travis Kelsey, he was a, he was a really nice guy. Yeah, that's funny. That was... PT, pre Taylor. It was, was pre Taylor. He did the red carpet by himself. But, uh, and Kelsey, Ballerini hosting again by herself. She's beautiful. I'll be uh, with her all week. Is she still dating the dude from Outer Banks? Yeah, Chase will be there. Really? What other big stars do you have that you have to deal with this week? Uh, the, no drama on the big stars. None. Do you want me to tell you some of the big stars? Who are, are your big people that we would know? That All right, anyone hold on, listening. hold on. I'm going to pull this up because I think you're actually going to be really... Uh, the non-country people, because I don't know who any of those people are. No, I think you're going to be actually kind of impressed when I tell you some of the people that are going to be there. Sammy Hagar. And check this out. Fram has been the one dealing with these people the whole time. So, like, she gets off of our little circus and then gets on the phone with Sammy Hagar. Sammy who, Hagar who is going to be there. What's he doing? Is he going to sing? He's performing. He was friends with Toby Keith. We have a tribute to Toby oh, Keith. Oh, all right. What's he going to sing? A Toby Keith song? Yes. Yes, it's a tribute to Toby, who we lost. Now, I will say this is a pretty big A-lister. Billy Bob Thornton. What's he doing? He's going to present an award. No kidding. Yeah. And then Emma Roberts? Wow. Do you have She's to pay? Be there. Do these people get paid? No. They just do Gail it because they want to do it. you know Gail. Yeah. Melissa Etheridge. You know Melissa. Wow. Wait, then, here's one for you. Minnie Driver. What? Yeah, Minnie's coming. She's going to present an award. And you have to go through all these. Like, how does it start? You you reach out to Minnie Driver's people and say, we'd love to have her on our award show. Would she do it? We actually have a, a woman that works on the Oscars who does celebrity talent. She books all the superstar, I mean, the the actors and actresses. So she actually, we go, she's like, okay, here's somebody that's maybe has a new movie out. What do you think about having them? And we're like, yes. And then she goes and asks them. But excited about Billy Bob because, you know, he's going to do something for Landman that we've talked about. Here's a question. Have you ever thought of maybe asking any of these people? I know. (laughs) I mean, I don't want (laughs) to call off. You're working with people who book Oscars town. Ever thought about, hey, I have a radio show. Two people. Oh, that's uh, right. You that's like, right. So if you want to invite them over sometime. I could do that. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Frank, no, well, of course I do. Fram, you're a big deal. You're Donnie big Wahlberg, deal. he's coming. What's he doing? Presenting an award. <laughs> wow. Well, where can people watch your work? When's it going to air? Sunday night, 8 Eastern on CBS. So next Sunday. The CMT Music Awards. Good for you, Fram. April Killing 7th. it. Killing it with Fram. All right, Thank there you, you go. You wonder what she does all day. It's... Talk to Sammy Hagar and all these people. And then in between, she gets nagging calls from me asking her if she's ready with, you know, this segment or that segment for tomorrow. Barnes, I got the Oscars on the other line. Can't talk Sorry. See right ya. now. All right. Well, I'm jealous. But we have the very able Ed Roland filling in for you tomorrow. So oh, it'll be great. We'll be good. Well, we look forward to seeing it Sunday night. You got a whole week of just hell week. And then Leslie's got to figure out how to plug in all of her stuff when she gets there because she'll be back on the show on Wednesday. 
That's going to be really tough. You better make sure you can connect. I have a video. Oh, t- Lanny made her a Lanny video. Lanny made a video of how to plug in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be funny. So Leslie may or may not be here on Wednesday. <laughs>